It's been one month since Blossberg went free. So did Blossberg make the right choice in making it free? But before we can answer that, we have to figure out why they wanted to go free. Money, role plays, and um, I really don't know why else. I mean, I think we can all agree why Blossberg went free and it's probably because they needed money. Now, a little backstory, Embracer Group actually bought Blossberg about two years ago. Oh my gosh, I'm on this website. What the heck? Oh my, I just opened up a random website for an insight on the accusation from a Roblox creator. Be sure Oh, wow. Thank you. Wow. I'm on. Okay. This is such a random website to be on, but okay. I'll take it. <laughs> Anyways, on December 28th, 2022, we found out that Bloxburg was bought out by the Embracer Group, who have also published Borderland and Tomb Raider. And people were actually pretty excited because Bloxburg back then still didn't really update that well. I mean, yes, we got updates here and there, but we never got like new buildings. We never got a map revamp. We didn't really get much back then as well and then they got bought out for a hundred million dollars which is insane and people were excited because they were like oh my gosh we're gonna get some more updates well we don't we get updates once a month in the beginning they were doing some amazing things they overhauled the athletic skill they gave us a gym revamp and then we got another revamp of the observatory a new blocks burger restaurant another revamp October, we got a fun little Sabrina quest. Halloween, of course. November is always mid, so oh well about that. And then in December, we got ourselves some Christmas stuff. Well, this was actually... We got, we got Christmas things in November. And then, well, this year, everything went downhill, all right? We got a February update, kind of lame. March update, lame. It was just like a little broken themed items. And then they skipped... Uh, they skipped everything, guys. And then last month in June, they decided to go free with nothing else new. Now the question is, why did they go free? Especially if their biggest motivation was money. Because don't you think they would have a little bit of common sense that, well, if we go free, we might have to add like a big update in the week or in two weeks or something. Like we should do something massive to celebrate blocks for going free. No, they, they didn't they didn't do that. Instead, they gave us a summer update with a food festival. Again, I don't really mind the food festival and just a couple of items in build mode, but I feel like after Bloxburg going free, it just feels a little lackluster to give us this update. I personally enjoy the update. I like new foods. I am a little bit biased to this update, but I see get, I get why this doesn't... I mean, like, guys, I mean, I, I just don't know how you're pulling in the new players by adding a food festival. Personally, I enjoy the update. Was at the right time to add this update? I don't think so. Or maybe add a couple of updates. So because Bloxburg added this update right after Bloxburg went free, did they mess it up? Did they mess up Bloxburg going free? Here we are on Rollymons. Rollymons is a, an amazing website. It tells you all of the details about like how many people are on, visits, all that jazz. And you can see right over here, this is when Bloxburg went free. We hit a 279k and then it gradually goes down. Now, I knew that they weren't going to stay up here forever, right? Like this is in Brookhaven. I feel like we shouldn't compare Bloxburg to Brookhaven. Instead, I'm going to be comparing Bloxburg to Barry Avenue, which we'll get into in just a second. But let's head on back into Bloxburg here and check out their stats. Now, right away, you can see we do have more players in Bloxburg because Bloxburg went free. But it's like, guys, it's like, what, four times less than Bloxburg going free? Like, I, I feel like at least we should have kept half, you know? Now, you can see a little bit better on the hourly. Again, hourly is a little bit skewed just because at, in the middle of the night, no one's really going to play. But actually, you might be actually wrong because on Barry Avenue, if we go to daily and, and scooch a little bit in, uh, not daily, hourly, they actually have way more people on 57,000 people why Bloxburg only has like 30k so I don't think we can blame the time overall Bloxburg just has less players than Barry Avenue now for a bit Bloxburg did have way more players as you can see with the Barry Avenue right here but it, you, one thing guys it's inconsistent look how consistent Barry Avenue is as you can see like it's going up in ranks it's very consistent but Bloxburg over here Bloxburg's all over the place guys and it's also on the downward trajectory if we can tell which is kind of sad so what went wrong Bloxburg had a massive day when Bloxburg went free it was insane 300,000 people almost on it and now they're barely getting 50k the issue money the embracer group just didn't do a good job of releasing Bloxburg going free a lot of people were hoping for a Bloxburg map a revamp before it went free or even like their skills getting overhauled because they said they were gonna overhaul our skills and they've only overhauled the athletic skill and nothing else 
Also, we didn't even get a new job since Bloxburger. Basically, they just didn't keep their word in what they were gonna add before Bloxburg went free, and then everyone became disappointed. Or even if that wasn't planned in the timeline, because again, this is a corporate thing now, and maybe they had to go free at a certain time, the next update, maybe they should have added a little bit of a skill rehaul or something. Like, they added a bunch of food, give us a cooking skill update. You know, like, their updates are just lackluster, don't make sense, they could add more. So in my mind, Blossberg going free failed. Now to everybody who's saying, oh my gosh, they work so hard, the devs are insane. I love the devs. I've talked to the devs, I love the team, I love the community managers, I love everyone involved in Blocksburg. But you cannot deny that Coffee Stain, the Embrace group they don't know how to run a game they really don't like this is I, I feel like this is super dumb they they ruined their chance of becoming a huge game by not updating after blocks were going free like don't you think that oh my gosh blocks were going free let's add something or maybe not right on the day that blocks were goes free let's let the new people enjoy the game before they change it. Maybe next week we'll add something or in two weeks. No, we'll wait a month and add a summer update with just a food festival. You know, I just, I just think there's a little bit of disconnect there. Now, have they ruined their chances forever? I don't think so. I think they can still get more people. I do believe that in Halloween and Christmas, we'll get a ton more people just because a lot of people haven't experienced the Sabrina quest, the elf one. I'm still excited for the holidays because I do think that people will come back for that. And they always do the holidays a perfect okay i love the holidays on blocksburg so i'm pretty excited for that but again they just didn't really do justice for blocksburg going free when they said they were gonna do skill revamps job things all that and they just they just didn't uh, so is there a way to fix it yes there is a way to fix it give us a skill update give us a skill revamp some more building revamps a map revamp and, and i think it'll get a little bit better okay but giving it these lackluster updates it's just gonna get worse and worse and now let's answer another question has blocksburg changed at all since it gone free except for the number count all right let's forget about the number count let's talk about has it changed all right Right, so I'm gonna go into a random neighborhood here, not a neighborhood, a server here, and see if it has changed. Are people talking? So far, there's a bunch of starter houses everywhere, which is really cute. People are still in build mode, which was another thing that people didn't want, but other people aren't in build mode. People are actually working. Is anyone talking though? No. Oh, but here's someone. Hello. Oh, he's just walking away. Okay, goodbye. But I do think that it's a little bit more livelier than before. Yes, it's not the best, but you know, there's people still walking around. No one's actually responding to me, but at least not everyone's in build mode. Okay, no one responded and now I'm sad. So I'm gonna go to Barry Avenue. <laughs> but let me hop in Barry Avenue for just a second, okay? This little thing can fix Bloxburg's issue. They just don't listen. They're taking forever. Here we are in Barry Avenue. All right, here we go. Let's go click play. First and foremost, people talking, right? Right off the bat but i do get blocksburg is a, a building game at first i feel like now but to fix that they need to add this barry avenue has a little server thing strict 1950s town and mafia like girl that sounds so fun mafia versus a royal guys this looks so fun like they need to do this where you can make servers have little role play servers and get to join them and you might be like well they could make these and it probably just doesn't even work they actually do work i'm gonna join this one strict high school role play you know i'm gonna join it and watch them be role playing as a strict high school role play look they're saying prom already happened today's not school so i'm i joined on a weekend but look at everybody talking it's it's popping in here guys it's popping look how fast this child that's going i haven't seen this fast of a chat and whenever i don't record basically i asked twitter one month since blogs were going free has it changed at all or do y'all think it's the same well to be honest the game hasn't changed a single bit they started off the new players with a small update which might have given them a bad perspective on the game and how they updated it. they should have at least waited till the map revamp uh to make the game free i think they need to step up their game and add more things it's the same they should have waited until the map revamp was ready and made it free then because if new players join and see the old map it looks boring and they want to come back and the end skip tutorial don't get me started on the tutorial guys i feel like that's also driving a lot of people away the same i'm my private server 24 7 so i'm safe it wasn't ready to go free they didn't have proper scheduling for this the same if not worse heck nah it ain't the same i missed the old one the same it's gotten deader for some reason now public servers are just silent it's filled with starter homes people said roleplay will come back but i haven't seen that happening it's the same i think they rushed it they should have waited for the map revamp job and skills revamp and the marketplace for everyone after a while it's kind of 
to become the same. It's the same, honestly. And there we have it, guys. A little downfall on Bloxburg because they have horrible scheduling. Um, they don't know how to retain attention. They, they need a lot of work. Yo, hire me, please. <laughs> and those are just my thoughts um, on why I think Bloxburg going free kind of failed. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below because I would love to read your opinions and all that jazz. Again, no hate to anybody. Um, I do think they do work hard and things, of course. Uh, but they just don't know how to like schedule things, you know? Their timeline is whack and I, I feel like someone needs to go fix it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the notification bell so you guys never miss a video. And if you have any other uh, Blossberg video ideas, please send them your way because I don't know what else to do. I need an update with things. There's nothing, guys. Oh.